Hey, it's Brian Johnson here with 7 Minute Security, here to do just a quick video on how to update your device to the latest and greatest VMware ESXi version using the command line. Uh, we send these little Intel NUCs all over the world to do our, our pen testing work, so uh, we're, we're doing this process regularly. Thought it would be fun to do a quick video, ideally in seven minutes or less, uh, with some step-by-step -step instructions that we, we hope you'll find easy to follow. So let's not waste any time, let's, let's do it. First thing we'll wanna do on your ESXi box if you don't have this enabled already is turn on SSH. So we can do that by clicking the actions menu and then the services submenu and click enable secure shell. And then next we'll SSH into the box at a terminal using our root username and password. If for some reason you've forgotten that, we'll have to cover that in a different video or we can, you can reach out to us, we can, we can help you. Um, but pretty straightforward, we just wanna to get to the, the command line so we can put the host into maintenance mode and apply the latest updates. So to put the host into maintenance mode, we're gonna use the VIM tax CMD command, followed by host SVC slash maintenance underscore mode underscore enter, and you'll notice we get a clean line returned to us, letting us know that the host is now in maintenance mode. But I always like to check my work by heading over to the GUI and just hitting the refresh button. And you'll see that the icon that represents our system is now wrapped in some yellow warning tape showing that yes, we're in maintenance mode and we're good to go. From here, if you actually just go to Google and search VMware ESXi patch downloads, the first or second link should take you to the main VMware software download site, where uh, in my case, I'm gonna choose ESXi embeddable and installable as the product. And then I'm, I'm running the 7.x version of the software. So I'll pick that. And then I'm keeping my eye out for the latest depot release that has the latest patch bundle in it. So I'll download it here. And then the next thing we need to do is get it over to our ESXi box. Um, doesn't really matter where you stick it, but you are gonna need to call the full path for where the zip lives. So make note of it, okay? Um, in my case, I'm gonna up upload it from my local hard drive, which you're seeing on the left over to a known path on my ESXi box on the right. Uh, this is a path where, as you can see, I've already stuck a few ISO files, so I know how to get to this at the, the, the command line. Use the software of your choice to get that file where it needs to be. You can even use the GUI inside of the ESXi console if you want, but uh, I'm just using FileZilla here because it's quick and easy to use, it's free, and it runs on just about everything. Now, before we apply the update, let's do a, a quick check of the current version of ESXi that's installed. So we can do that with the VMware space TAC VL command. And I'll usually just, because I have a bad memory, I'll copy this off to a notepad so I can compare when we're all done that, ah, we were on version X, now we're on version Y. And then we can proceed with the update by using the ESX CLI software VIB update command. And then you'll see I've added a TAC D and then the full path to that depot zip file that I downloaded from VMware. So you do that, you hit enter, and then you're gonna have to wait some amount of time. Um, I usually don't watch this when it's happening. I go get uh, a mint hot cocoa from Caribou. But uh, what you're looking for eventually is you see something like this, a big barf of text saying, hey, we applied update this, that, and the other. And then at the very bottom of the screen, you'll see I've exited cleanly back to my command prompt. So all signs point to good to go here. Um, and now I can just type reboot and hit enter for all the updates to take effect. Once the web interface comes up again, um, if you don't have it enabled already, let's make sure we turn on SSH again under Actions Services menu. 
And then uh, let's SSH in one more time with our root username and password. And let's do a VMware space TAC VL to see that, yes, indeed, our update uh, used to be build 18538813, and now it's 192.908.78. So we're just about completely good to go. Um, we just need to make sure we take the host out of maintenance mode before we start to use it. So we used VIM tax CMD for that, and we put the maintenance mode as enter. Now we're gonna set the maintenance mode as exit. We hit enter, we get a clean command prompt back. Should be all set, but I always like to see it from the GUI as well. So if you just go back, uh, you'll notice um, the system is still wrapped in, in tape. Uh, but now if we come over here and we just refresh the GUI, it should uh, come out as just a unwrapped all gray system. And uh, we're ready to play with our VMs and install new ones and just have ourselves a ducky old time. Thank you for watching this video. And if your company is looking for a risk assessment, a penetration testing engagement, or some training, be that with your end users or your security team, uh, please do reach out to us at 7minsec.com. Have a blessed week. Bye-bye.